So two phones are now making their throne as an entry level budget phone right now in the budget segment. This is the Realme C11 and this is the Redmi 9A. So what should be the deciding factor if you want to choose which one? Features, power or brand loyalty? Mabuhay Manila and this is Aisha Del from manilashaker.com and let's find out in this comparison review. As you might be aware, they are both a budget phone under 5,000 pesos. Realme C11 for 4,890 and Redmi 9A for 4,690. At this 300 peso difference, what you will get or what you will not get. Design is subjective. They both have these straight lines and the texture is the same all plastic but with extra grip and less prone to fingerprints. The Realme C11 camera module is larger compared to the Redmi 9A. Camera bump on Redmi 9A is a little bit larger but that's not a big deal. They both have the same weight and both can expand their memory. When it comes to buttons and ports, they nearly have the same placement. The only difference is the headphone jack of Redmi 9A is located up top. On the front, they both have dewdrop notches housing a 5 megapixel front cam. And talking about the front, we have the same specifications here with the tiny little differences. 6.5 inch IPS LCD with 720p resolution with 40 pixel higher on Redmi 9A compared to Realme C11. Almost the same PPI density but when we look closer on the build, the body of Redmi 9A is a bit bigger and it also has a slightly bigger bezels on the chin. Realme C11 got a little punch on color but we can adjust the display on Redmi 9A to match with the color on Realme C11. And we notice the Redmi 9A screen is slightly sharper, probably because it has more pixels than Realme C11. Now for the camera comparison, we get a single cam on Redmi 9A versus a dual camera on Realme C11. 13 megapixel on Redmi 9A and 13 megapixel on Realme C11 plus a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Indoors, the Redmi 9A tends to capture the yellowish or warmer white balance while the Realme C11 outputs a brighter and more vibrant image. However, as we take these photos, the Redmi 9A is the one with the closest natural color to the scene. Fortunately, the Realme C11 corrects the white balance nicely. Now outdoors, Redmi 9A got a nice and brighter image. It has more details but tend to have a color leak or blown out highlights. While the Realme C11 got great exposure to the sky but shadows remove other details. Next shot, in normal mode, Realme C11 outputs sharper image but Redmi 9A got brighter image and turning on HDR we got different result. Again, the shadows on the Redmi 9A are lifted, then the highlights are slightly blown out while the Realme C11 gets a balanced exposure. However, sharpness goes to the Redmi 9A. This is probably due to the version of MIUI 12 since the Redmi phones we tested running the MIUI 11 tend to have a softer image. And we're excited to try this phone in the future and see if it is definitely due to the update. Now the depth sensor which Redmi 9A doesn't have it, well even artificial bokeh, Realme C11 still wins because of the help of the depth sensor. Also it has blur adjustments before you capture. The main cam of both phones record 1080p 30fps and Redmi 9A records sharper image but it tends to be cropped in. While Realme C11 output more contrast making it a little alive and balanced and it doesn't introduce flares. Switching to the front, they both have 5 megapixel selfie shooter. Color reproduction is okay. Realme C11 produce brighter skin tone. And the problem for Redmi 9A, its portrait mode don't have beauty enhancement. Now switching to normal shooting mode, Redmi 9A tends to be claustrophobic. It also in color tone temperature and Redmi 9A produce sharper photo than Realme C11 but both have deeper contrast which gives depth to the image. They both shoot a decent 1080p 30fps video quality. They have nearly the same color reproduction and exposure behavior but the skin tone still goes to Redmi 9A though it appears closer and Realme C11 is wider. Overall, natural look and sharpness goes to Redmi 9A, while balance exposure goes to Realme C11. It tends to have an underexposed shot but it can manually be adjusted in the viewfinder. Now heading to their performance, well they are not the most powerful budget phone out on the market but comparing these two devices alone, we can say that Realme C11 has more processing power. It is equipped with Helio G35 12nm chipset plus 2GB of RAM and 32GB of internal memory. 
while Redmi 9A is backed by Helio G25 with the same 12 nanometer architecture and also 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Now before buying one of these phones, we don't have to look on its full potential, but on their capabilities and features. Because yeah, on its price range, well we don't have to expect a very powerful device. But in decent power, yes, it can operate such daily tasks, and yes, both of them are good. Realme C11, like I said, is slightly powerful playing heavy duty games. We can't deny that they both have train drops in every game, though Realme C11 have more stability than Redmi 9A, but not that much. And playing Mobile Legends, they have the same stability. Now for the speed test and benchmark result, here is the clip. Still, Realme C11 is slightly leading, so we can just rely on the performance. Well, like we said, they both have the acceptable performance. I mean, if you're using this phone in moderate use or homeschooling, they can do the task well. I guess it's a matter of brand loyalty or trust because Realme C11 under 10.0 with Realme UI has features like game space, split screen, dark mode, etc. While Redmi 9A that runs on Android 10.0 and MIUI 12 right out of the box, it has features like focus and exposure indicator, 32 seconds shutter speed, ultra power saving mode, versatile screencast, physical shortcut, display color adjustment, dark mode, and more. Now for the UI feel, Redmi 9A that has new i12 skin, I personally like it. The graphical information layout we can see here in the UI is really informative and interactive. Though Realme UI still has the lighter feel and fluid animation, still has cleaner UI. And for the performance ratio, Helio G35 versus Helio G25, Redmi 9A manages to catch up the performance wise to Realme C11 probably because of the MIUI 12. So now for the battery, they have nearly the same result as well. Both have 5000 mAh battery. Both can last up to 2 days of average use and here are the results. As for charging, well they got nearly the same charging speed as well. The audio quality of both phones. Well, Redmi 9A is louder compared to Realme C11, but it gets a bit distorted. But when you level the sound of Redmi 9A to Realme C11, they both have the same quality. At the end of the day, at a price range below 5,000 pesos, both are bang for the buck. You just have to choose which features you like the most. Is it Realme C11 or Redmi 9A? Performance wise, Realme C11 has more processing power but not that much of a difference. On the display and camera, we chose Redmi 9A as it is sharper. Again, what will your choice be? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, we hope you got the information you wanted. We will do a little giveaway real soon because we are reaching 100,000 subs. So subscribe now and ring the bell to be notified about this promo. Also don't forget to visit manilashaker.com for more tech news, reviews, and comparison of the latest device. Again, Aisha Del here and Mabuhay Manila!